Hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed. This is my car radio, it's from a Vauxhall, but I think it's used in Audi as well. I use it in Vauxhall. Uh, I put a tape inside it and it completely got stuck. If there is no bolts, I pull the radio out and I pull out the cassette mechanism the two switches and I ripped all the cables out now I don't have any tapes and I usually pretty bad with tapes so we'll take a cable this is an aux cable and we'll just connect it to the we'll just connect it to the board, to the preamp so it can use phones I was thinking to do it with a Bluetooth uh, but I need to deal with finding a Bluetooth module that works fine and whatnot. And this is just a lot more easier. Now I have yellow on the bottom, white in the middle, and red on the front. Okay, so we'll see. I don't remember which is uh, left and right channel, but this is the preamp, or oh, model number is uh, SC202. This is the preamp chip, and uh, this chip is 4558, 4558. I'll have a look where the preamp dots are, you know, like uh, where it takes the signal from which is left and right and um, we will just solder the wires I did find a uh, diagram it took me half a day maybe till I figure out what I should do so do I have it somewhere? I think I do give me a second RC 4558 looks like this and does the pin out there was there I, I don't know a lot about electronics but I know you should trust people that know electronics the same people think they know electronics but they don't okay so there was around 15 different opinions what should where you should take the and put the signal in on these pins and I'm still not like 100% sure but according to this diagram which is for a I don't know if it's an audio or something I think it was a Volkswagen you can see the pin out right and left comes from pin number seven one and the forest ground okay and here in this russian forum okay i found that probably when this is in cyrillic means right, level means left, obviously means um, common, these two, 3 and 8, I don't know what they are, they need to be removed, this is ground on pin 4, 
left on pin 1 and right on pin 7. So if we look, if we look here, we need pin 1, pin 7 and pin 4. Pin 1 is this one on this side. Okay. Pin 7 is this one, the second one. We're gonna put the thing on it. And pin 4. Or which one was the ground? Pin 4, yeah. Pin 4 is this one is the ground, and then we need to remove 3 and 8. I can see how we're gonna remove eight, but how we're gonna remove three, I don't know. No receiving three going, I don't know. Maybe we're gonna snap the pin. <laughs> what is number three? Number three is some kind of input, and number eight is positive supply. You'll we'll see now. I'll connect the three wires, yeah. I'll connect them straight to the pins here. Or I might follow the line and just connect them on the, you know, depending on where the pin goes. It's maybe on one of these capacitors here. And the ground, I can connect it to the ground, but I think I'll connect it straight to, to the chip. Because I think it's gonna be easier. But we'll see. Okay, let me solder a little bit. Okay, I got it uh, all wired up. Now, pins one. Is connecting to these two, I think under capacitors or the resistors, I don't know. It's zero ohms resistance, so I just connected, I think it's the right side. I didn't uh, think about left and right, I just wanted to work. And it's always going to be listening in the middle, so. So, uh, on the right side, let's say, I connected it here, pin 1, pin 7 these two I think that's a capacitor and that's a resistor I connected here we had a ground wire coming from nowhere so I just connected the blue wire as a common ground now I got six wires coming this is so there is two sensors the first sensor we're gonna short it so it will look like it's short okay I'll just put on top a small piece of shrink the other two red and grey they are um, power supply 
for the motor for the cassette player and I just chop them flush with the cutters and now this one here it's a sensor that says to the to the radio there is a cassette start playing what we need to do is take a button and just wire it like on off switch there we go, like on off switch I will place it right here yeah it's a bit ugly but it's gonna be fine I'll place it right here, you can place it inside sometimes yeah very ugly <laughs> well although I don't like it, it's gonna be okay so I'll just solder it in place and I'll show you how uh, I glue it in place as well The wires are connected. I don't know how much you can see, you can, yeah. Two are shorted together and these two are absolutely chopped off. Again the connector here. And we got this on our switch. Now let's go to the current, give it a small test. Okay, let's see if it works. It does. Now just uh, play for a second. I don't want to get uh, claimed. It does work. And then, if you press the button that you know is here, you go straight on the plug on the aux and yeah let's uh, I'll just find on YouTube something that is not uh, copyright claimed okay we got something playing already yeah definitely works It's 3 o'clock in the morning, so it's a bit too early for a loud test, but as you can see, we can go straight to a, we can go straight to a radio as well. Hope the video has been helpful to you. Leave me a comment. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.